Hi, this is Steve from Beyond Code, and today I show you the great new snippets feature in the latest release of Tinkerwell. So here we are in the latest version of Tinkerwell. I have a piece of code here that I use quite often, so I want to save it as a snippet. If you want to save a new snippet right from the editor, just right click to bring up the context menu and select one of the options here. Either add code to snippets to save the whole code we see here, or add selected code to snippets, if you have selected some code. I want the whole code here, so I select add code to snippets. And that's it! Let's look where the snippets are stored. You can open up the snippet overview by clicking on this new bookmark icon in the navigation bar, or using the shortcut Command and B on Mac, or Control and B on Windows and Linux. So here's the overview of all our snippets, and the snippet we just created is right on top here. As you can see, I already have a few more snippets, and I can just use my arrow keys to cycle through them. Every snippet is saved with a reference from the project where it came from. You can also search for a specific piece of code. So let's go with user here. And if you want to transfer the snippet code into your editor, you just hit enter, like in the history. If you want to open up a new tab with the code, you go with command enter or control enter for Windows and Linux. Speaking of the history, you can create snippets from your history entries. So let's take a look into the code history here. And I want to save this entry as a new snippet. And here's a new button and I click it and I have a new snippet. When I open up the snippets again, I can see the history entry that is now a snippet. And that's it with the new snippets feature. We have been using it in the Beyond Code team for a few weeks now, and we think it's quite awesome. We hope that you like it too.